bet you you're smudging the hell out of the lens right now. Love you. You want to try to get through this video without saying the word penis? Hello everybody, my name is Mark Blair and welcome back to the Balloon Animal Challenge. I'm joined once again by Wingus and Dingus over here. Say hi guys. Hey. Hi, I'm Tyler. No, that's Dingus. It's Wingus. Wingus. There we go. See? So we're back with the balloon animal challenge. We've got more balloons here, and we've got more suggestions from again. Notice how I stopped holding it oh. like that? There you go. Oh. I just didn't want to keep going, Wingus. All right. So we're gonna be banging more balloon animals, but this time instead of making your favorite animals into balloon form, we've got a list of your least favorite animals. So ooh, beware if you have specific phobias of the animals that you're not gonna. You, you don't know, but you're gonna see. Back home. <laughs> <laughs> You're starting with one, but here's the twist. Look at that! Hey! Wow, that's a helium tank. So you notice these aren't filled with helium. They're they, not. That's a lie. I can't believe you lied to your fan. <laughs> there you go. Whoa! <laughs> we're gonna start the round with this one balloon, but every other balloon that we're gonna need in this whole thing, we have to run back there, grab one of the balloons around the balloon pile, and make another balloon. Ethan, throw those pumps away. Don't pump me. <clears throat> Got it. Anyway, we're gonna be using the helium tank to fill these up. So in order to do that, we're gonna need a little more time than we had before. Before we had one minute or something like that, some arbitrary number that some asshole like changed in the last second. But this time, we're gonna get two minutes to be able to make these balloons into balloon animals. Are you ready, Wingus? Yeah, yeah. Are you ready, Dingus? Sure. So let's get some balloon. What's our first suggestion? Seagulls. Seagulls. Like multiple, if you want. The seagulls. Okay, ready? No. I'm ready. I'm not ready. Right, everyone visualize what you're gonna make. Just visualize, don't make it yet. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh. <laughs> I'm scared again, I forgot. How much time we got? Hands up, hands off, hands off. What do you have to say for yourself, mister? Hello. Seagulls. The rats of the air. Coming in from the sea, if you will. Up here we have the wings, the feet, the tail, a creation created none other than by the, the Lucifer himself. All right, so what we have here is uh, an Atlantic seagull, uh, not here native to the Los Angeles area. You can see uh, the, the bill on the Atlantic seagull is very, not quite as pronounced as the uh, Pacific seagulls that we all commonly associate from the Hollywood movies. Um, it's actually got large loping ears to scoop air in through its ears and then flap out of its broad, uh, very broad wingies here. Um, the actually like interesting thing about the Atlantic seagull is that it has a rudder. It steers through the air, carving like an elegant gazelle of the sky. Uh, not the rats of the sky, you, you swine. The gazelle of the sky. I'm not they're, the swine, it's the gulls. They're very graceful creatures. And of course, these are its trademark droppings. Caca, caca, caca. Seagull dropping. Caca, shut up! Caca, caca, caca. Caca, caca, caca. The Atlantic seagulls droppings are white. Show us what you got. <laughs> <laughs> the snakes of the sky. <laughs> this is the, the head of the seagull with the beak. It's actually beautifully done, um, if I do say so myself. And this particular seagull um, got stuck in a trash can um, of sorts, a, a can that was left on the beach by us humans and littering. So it, it is forever stuck and, and trapped, and it's it's dying, mm. and it, oh. it's realistic because that's the sad truth. 
Garbage, just like the garbage on the beach. What are we gonna do with these balloons after we're done? You wanna throw them in the ocean? No. All right, well, yours is garbage, so it's pretty much associated with that. You would make that. So, according to our panel of judges here, wait, I'm gonna leave, let, let's leave it here. It'll be like a gallery. Well, we'll leave the art here, and then we'll just hope that some art critics will walk by and then judge them thusly. We're judging right now. Did you guys judge walking by last time? No, I'm not, no, we didn't. Oh. Which one? Which one? Uh, Mark. Yeah! Well, that was a bad choice. Well, it was, hey, sh wow. Don't criticize the judges, respect the judges. <laughs> I'm gonna take the gander and say that's the proboscis. You don't, hey, don't touch its proboscis, jeez. That's the proboscis. Yuck. <laughs> Yuck. Yuck. And there you go. <laughs> That's the worst thing you've ever done. Blood out. <laughs> That's the proboscis. Anyway. <laughs> oh! Oh! Your pink dingus is, or your pink wingus is attacking my red dingus. Don't make fun of my pink wingus. Yeah, don't make fun of his pink wingus. Okay, so we got a new, new one. And we're ready to go. <laughs> That's fun! <laughs> this brings a whole, this is what the original idea was. Yeah! Oh, that's so... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, mine dance like a, like a ballerina. <laughs> no! <laughs> Sabotage! This was a bad choice. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Oh, jeez, okay, all right. Hands off! I didn't punch you! Tyler? Sure. So, as you know with a frog, they have the tiny little tail butt, little doodad, right, right, right up over here. Uh, it's, it's it's nice little like, uh, it's got like a wee butt thing. And uh, this unfortunate frog ran into an accident and his he was born with his legs merged with his head. His front legs are merged with his head, so his legs are like little up here tied to his head and all he's got is his rear legs and he just kind of scooches on his face. Your, your balloons are so sad. So mean. Oh, <laughs> Mine is, uh, I, I call it the journey of a life of a frog, right? Okay, so let's start from the very beginning of a frog's life. The eggs, chained many eggs together, all in a spawning pool. Strung together, vulnerable, pink, fleshy. Anything could happen. Could be lost at any- Ah! <laughs> any no! <laughs> That oh, was sabotage. I'd like to point out to the judges that was very much sabotage. No, I was explaining how anything could happen. Anything could happen. Tragedy could strike. Art is tragedy. Okay. <laughs> it's drawn to you. Okay. Shh. Okay. So, as you can see, it starts its life as a tadpole, journeying from the small egg, growing until it reaches tadpole status. And then it takes its first crawling moments out from the water's edge, just like reminiscing the very basis of life itself when we crawled from the ocean as just small fishy fishy. And then, when it gets on land, it is not born, because it's already been born, but it's reborn as a frog. Here, the giant head staring at you. Here, I... <laughs> There, we have, going back to the egg. It's an adult, <laughs> and it goes back, lays an egg. The journey, the cycle continues anew. Dude, you really know how to bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Does mine. Look at this. Look at this. That's a frog. It's a frog. It's everything that a frog is and more. It's all that a frog could be. Ethan? Look me in the eyes. We Let me explain. 
when you think of a frog, what do you think of? Those big, big legs. And what about those big legs? That <laughs> thick ass. <laughs> As shown. <laughs> As shown in this representation, need I say more? Those, those strong glutes. Jud judges. Thank you. Thank you. Why Would you like to look like a frog? That's that's clearly ass bias, even though I myself would vote for that, huh? <laughs> oh, man. That would have been a better way to go. I'm a frog. I'm a frog. Things hoping. Oh, oh. <laughs> so Ethan, uh, in his absolute ignorance, decided that he was gonna be a dummy and not get a balloon. And I, I mean, like, I'm waiting to see what the prompt does. does. So I can <laughs> correct, choose <laughs> the correct color. Just explaining my my theory. I'm waiting. Guys, look at mine. I'm waiting to see what the prompt is so I can uh, correct, uh, use the correct color. So the score is one for me, one for Ethan. Ugh, nothing for Tyler yet. But there's every possibility that he can redeem himself. What's the next question? Those monkeys with the red asses. Okay. Three, two, one, go! Ah! No. No. Hurry up, you stupid asshole. Mine's, mine's a long boy monkey, and as you know, those baboons that have red asses have some blue accents, as learned by the Lion King, um, with with those profound lines up here that you got it right there in this face. And then, of course, he's got to have his legs and the giant, huge, profound red buttocks. Question. That butt looks a lot like a frog. <laughs> That's a lot. Did you reuse? You can't there recycle. There was never a rule you about that. You can't recycle. That's cheating. We have to use new balloons. That was never that made is, that is a That is a rule. It was never said. It was never said aloud, but I, if it was said aloud in the last one, yeah. then then the rules carry over from I last year. I think that's a given. All right, we'll, we'll leave it up to the final judges to make the final decision. I call this one baboon in winter. A tragic story, if ever there was one. There was no food that fall. Didn't have time to prepare. Left out, foraging on its own. Lost, galloping through the trees, trying to make its way. The snow started creeping in. The cold winds bit to the bone, bit to the butt. Clawing its way through a river, seeing one salmon still left not touched by bear. Oh, can it get close? It's trying desperately. Ah! Oh! Frozen. Didn't make it. Family starving back home. Red butt. Now frozen blue. A tragedy. If ever there was one. And the penis. Ah, uh, you said you broke penis. The Damn it! <laughs> You were, we were doing so good. Also, you literally, all you have to do is explain what it looks like. You don't have to give a backstory. Look! My art has I, so much more to it. I will, I will say one thing. God damn it. I, I will say one thing. <laughs> monkeys don't live around bears that eat. I said baboon! The prop was monkey, for the record. Monkey the, with the red ass. Uh, yeah, it, monkey, stupid. <laughs> All right, well, mine, pretty basic, to be honest. We've got the big the big head, you know, they've gotta use their noggin. Uh, next next to humans, monkeys are some of the most uh, smart species in the animal kingdom. He's got a big, big head. Uh, he's also got arms to climb trees with and whatnot. Uh, then, you know it, we love it, that big, big legs uh, and the ass. I was going for, I know we were talking about the big red ass, but I think that uh, it's a little bit more accurate that it would have a, a pinkish hue.
because it's closer to uh, the skin tones of the 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 apes and whatnot. Uh, that's pretty much my. What's the blue thing? Ah, yes, an elastic band to like a lobster. You gotta keep the ass cheeks no, 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 no. closed. Like a like it's working out. It's like working out the glutes. You know those like elastic bands they use. You know. No. I see the Kool Aid Man. Well, see what you want to see. Art is subjective. I'd like to point out mine's the only one with red ass. I mean. Red <laughs> frog. That is also true. Minimal offer. What? Why? It's the leg thing. He's doing the same thing over and over. That can't count over and over again. Well, listen. This one was specifically the monkey with the red ass. You've stolen this from his family. Well, you didn't win. My monkey won, obviously. And I think everybody knows it, including yourself. You're just too afraid to admit it. Ah, you've been chosen. That's not like <laughs> Now like you are hat. the monkey. <laughs> what is the next prom? Wait, hang on, let me show you guys. So, oh, you take the proboscis, yeah, insert it. <laughs> anyway, well, what do you want, a tight balloon or a full balloon? So, what's the first thing you think of when you think of a kangaroo, Big right? Dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the first thing. What's the second thing you think of when you think of a kangaroo, right? Its ability to kick. It's got huge footers. It's got crazy. <laughs> it's got crazy like ah potential, like right. Okay, so I wanted to start from uh, kind of like just feeling where the balloon took me. It's giving, it's doing that, you know the emoji that goes, mm, you know that emoji? Yeah. So it's doing a little bit of that with its tongue, like, <laughs> yeah. And then these are its ears, because that's the other thing a kangaroo's known for, it's big ears. It's got a big snoot, it's got big ears, a little sassy, and uh, great kickers. Yep. I'll go next, because uh, I think Tyler should go last. So, when I think of a kangaroo, I immediately think of the big old ears. Big old ears, just like a, kind of like a bunny rabbit, but an Australian bunny rabbit. And then the next thing I think of is that big pouch that the little babies go in. Obviously, uh, this mother here hasn't had a child quite yet, but uh, it is hey, the season. Hey, <laughs> hey. Oh, oh, don't get too, uh, don't get, uh, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, the big pouch for the baby to go in, the big ears, uh, this one lost its legs in a jungle accident. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so the immediate denial, just that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's my kangaroo. Hope that you take it into consideration. It also uh, doubles as a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> So, take what you will. Alright. That's my, that's the pouch. That's its face with big ears. And it's hiding behind the rock. Ready to pounce and kick you in the face. Oh, it's no. it's the orange cactus desert. <laughs> <laughs> the sun's set on a summer's eve. You like Tyler's? No. Oh, oh come no. on! Even I wanted Mark to win. Yeah, <laughs> wait, hang on, wait. This is bullshit. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Wait, this looks like something I made in Spore. <laughs> Be free. <laughs> He's a, he's a ceiling <laughs> crawler! So, Ethan won, he has two points, I have one, Tyler has one point. This is the parade of our creations. Oh. Not in uh, perfect harmony here, but I think it's good to end this one off with um, a little bit of a song. What should we sing? Do you wanna build a snowman? Wait, fucking hell. Do you wanna build a snowman? Doesn't have to be a snowman. Okay.